Welcome to Did You Know Facts, a channel that talks about bandwidth and herbs and other conditions that are important to social and medical understanding. This one is a special I'm doing on online gaming and addiction. Now the basic ed thing about addiction is that addiction is defined as an abuse of a substance which leads to a certain kind of dependence and in absence of that substance the person becomes violent in behavior. Talking about online games, these online games are becoming a menace. A lot many of these games we need to look into how they work and how they function. The basic thing behind these games is that they allow the individual to take control of the situation even if he gets eliminated in the course of the game he gets those opportunities a number of times multiple times to revisit the situation and ultimately win over while this can be motivating in some ways they kind of adrenaline rush these games create particularly the ones which have uh, war zones or battle cries or use of arms and ammunitions that creates a situation where the adrenaline rush is very very high and over a period of time it leads to a situation where because of these repeated opportunities the individual forgets that there is an element of fear involved. The moment the element of fear, which is also an adrenaline function, is eliminated, the rush becomes unidirectional and that becomes more and more violent. In the absence of the support of the scheme or of this environment, the unidirectional push becomes an addiction and that addiction can lead to self-harming causes, antisocial behavior and criminal behavior. That is why there are a spate of violent behaviors, spate of violent actions happening around and we see quite a few crimes being committed by young boys, young students who are getting involved in these games and are becoming a prey to a violent atmosphere, a violent environment. It is important to understand that such children or such even if they are majors and not minors, adults who commit crimes following these uh, online games, they are addicts, they are medically, psychologically unfit and the maximum punishment that they can be given is more towards a rehabilitation considering that they have done such an act they have committed such an act out of influence of a substance they are consuming through their senses instead of orally consuming through the mouth but the influence is strong enough to cause an antisocial behavior the liability therefore in terms of law, in terms of social responsibility and medical responsibility all lies with the stores, so called the Google Play Store or the Apple Eye Store or any other such store who host these games and from where these can be downloaded as also the liability lies on the developers, the companies who promote these games, the advertisements, the uh, advertisers who post their advertisements on such games because of the influence these carry on a certain age group or a certain quality of people. These play stores, these companies who are developing and these advertisers who promote by funding uh, these games through advertisements, they need to be checked, they need to be penalized, they need to be asked to either remove them 
or stop functions or equally we tried for murders for the crimes that happen as a result of such games such strong influences if we want to save our children if we want to save our youth from such crimes it is important that we take care of their vulnerability their improprieties that arise out of uh, such environments that are created after all it is a human creating an environment like this the imagination is definitely driving a very strong influence and not on one individual but a very large section across the internet space such abuse of the internet needs to be curtailed and yes it is for the law enforcement agencies and the legal system to sue moto take actions instead of waiting for somebody to step into and file pils or file court cases to prevent such actions from happening thank you